Hi, Dave McGuire with McGuire and Son Sawmill. Yup, everything I do is twice the hard way. I pulled these logs out of the woods, and anybody who tells you that you're never gonna hit metal, yeah, they're full of crap. Got one there, got one there, one there, one there. So there's four of them. And I think what it was is this was somebody's shooting range. And the reason I say that is because if you look real close, they're copper coated. So I think those are bullets where somebody had a target set up. I was once told that, you know, to eat a huge steak, you gotta just take one bite at a time. Well, this log is more than one bite at a time. It is a nightmare to move around. It's heavy. It was 28 inches in diameter on the big end and 22 at the small end. So, yep. We're just going to whittle away and keep going. I tell everybody I know that I don't saw wood for the high class people who've got lots of money. I saw wood for the blue collar guy who's just trying to build a shed, a birdhouse, something. Because guys can't really afford to go out and take a mortgage out to build a birdhouse. That's about what you got to do at Lowe's or Home Depot nowadays. Last I looked at southern yellow pine two by fours, and I mean true southern yellow pine like this, they were pretty pricey. And, you know, it, it's a lot of work. It's, it's truly a lot of work. It's more work than I ever imagined I'd do during my uh, retirement, but hey, I'm happy. It's all that matters. I give two craps about anything else. As long as I'm out here at the mill, it's sunny, it's kind of cold in South Alabama. It was like 44 degrees this morning. Ugly. So, we're going to get the bullets out. I'll see if I can get some pictures of that when we get them out. Otherwise, I hope you all have a good day. We're going to saw this all into one by sixes when we get past this rotten spot. And, uh, yeah, don't ask me how I'm rolling this because you wouldn't like it. About the time you think you got everything on your mill adjusted perfect, Go back and check it again because you have to check close enough. Trust me, I've already had to adjust the transmission belts, adjust the tension on the cable, the sheaves. I've had to adjust uh, the lead in the saw, the arbor height, the knees, everything this morning. And I started at 6.30. And it's like, I don't know, 11. So we'll see what we get done today. Got orders to fill. People want their boards. Hope you all have a nice day. I'll see you back here when I get things rolling again. Thanks a lot. Hi, we're back at the sawmill. I got all that crap pulled out of the logs. Yup, it was somebody's shooting target. It was never on the slabs. And you can see here, here, here. I gotta go find that one. Here. Here, here. Yep, that's what's left of all the bullets. I'm just grateful it was lead and not steel. Lead don't hurt the teeth near as bad. So we're gonna touch them up. I'm gonna roll it, see what we got on the next cut. Stick around. Who knows what's gonna happen next. Might all go to hell in a handbasket for all I know. Thanks a lot.